In this demo, you will see how to design controllers in Control System Toolbox using SISO Design Tool. We'll start with defining Laplace transform variable S and defining plant transfer function 1 over S plus 1. Now what we want to do is design a controller for this plant and we'll use SISO Design Tool to do that. Let's launch it. It opens up with two windows. In this window we have two plots that we will use for graphical tuning of our controller. In this window, which is called Control and Estimation Tools Manager, we can configure our controller architecture, we can create additional loop openings, we can import data for compensators and for the plant, and we can change the sample time of our design. In the Compensator Editor tab, we see the structure of our compensator. Right now, it's just a gain. In the Graphical Tuning tab, we can specify the plots that we want to use for graphical tuning. Right now, we see the two plots that we have already, Root Locus and Open Loop Body. If we wanted to, we could also add Nichols plot. Now, here, we can specify also plots that we want to use for analysis. And in this case, we are specifying that we want to see the step response and what we want to see specifically is the step response from reference to measured output. Here it is. This can also be specified through the analysis plot tab like you see here. So now let's scale this window and place it side by side here so we can see it as we design our controller. And now we are ready to start tuning our controller. If you want to change the gain of our system, we can do that by adjusting the magnitude of the body plot or by moving closed loop poles in the root locus editor. As we do that, we see that the system doesn't get to 1, so it has non-zero steady state error. We can fix that by adding an integrator. So this fixes the steady state error problem. It's now gone, but we have some oscillatory behavior. We can fix that by reducing the magnitude of our controller. Here in the step response plot we can check characteristics of our system. For example, we might want to look at the rise time and see that right now it's about two and a half seconds. What we want to do is improve this, make it faster. One way to do that is to add a lead compensator to our system. To do that we can again right click here say add pole 0 and add a lead compensator. So let's click here. It adds 0 and a pole. And what we want to do now is interactively change the locations of pole and 0. So for example, you can try to grab this pole and move it around and maybe move 0 around as well and increase the magnitude of our controller. We can always go back to the Control and Estimation Tools Manager. In, in the Compensator Editor, we can see the formula for our controller. Right now, it has a gain, integrator, and a lead. And we can directly edit parameters. So, for example, if I want my 0 to be at minus 1 and my pole to be at minus 10, I can do that. Uh, as I make this change, notice that the tool automatically calculates the amount of phase leads that I'm going to get and calculates at what frequency it's going to happen. So instead of typing zero in pole locations, I could specify the amount of phase leads that I want to get and the frequency where I want it to happen. And this will automatically recalculate the values of zero and pole. Now I can go back to my plot and see the step response and the body and root locus. I can continue tuning interactively. I can again adjust the magnitude or I can zoom in here in the root locus plot and continue moving zeros and poles of my system. Once I have the design that I like, I can store it by pressing store design button. This creates a new node in the design history. I can go and rename this design as I like. So let's call it design lead. And then I can go back and continue tuning. And some other design techniques that I want to show you are in the automated tuning tab. Here you have an option to do automated PID tuning. To do that, select PID tuning. 
then you have an option to choose several tuning methods. We'll use robust response time method. We'll specify the type of PID controller we want, so in this case PID with first order derivative filter, and then we'll specify interactive design mode. In this mode you can specify the desired bandwidth for your controller and the phase margin. Then you press update compensator and this updates all the plots and compensator parameters. If you like this design you can press store design and this creates another node in the design history and again you can go and rename it as needed and now if you want to go back to the previous design you can just select it and say retrieve design and you go back to the previous design and this way you can quickly get to any design that you saved and continue tuning from there. You can also specify design requirements directly on this plot. For example, you can specify step response bounds. You might want to say I want the rise time to be 0.3 seconds, I want the settling time to be 2 seconds, I want small overshoot of 5%, let's make this number 90% and this number 0. Then when you press OK, this shows you the envelope where you want your step response to be and you can adjust it interactively like this and so you see that right now your design is not meeting the requirements that you specified and what you might want to do is tune your design some more to see if you can meet the design requirements and if you find this difficult or time-consuming, you can use optimization-based tuning that is available with SISO Design Tool if you have Simulink Design Optimization installed. And the way you would do that is you would go to Automated Tuning, select Optimization-based Tuning, and say Optimize Compensators. This walks you through the simple graphical user interface. Here you select what you want to tune. So you want to tune the gain, zero, and pole of our compensator. We have this design requirement that we want to satisfy and then we are ready to start optimization. So we press start optimization and the optimization starts running. We see how all the plots are changing. Here we see the optimization process and after five iterations it converged. Here we see that we have indeed met the design requirements. Let's save this design rename it and call it design automated. And now we have several different designs that are all good and if we want to export this design to a workspace we can select it and then go to file, export and select this compensator C to our workspace. Now if we take a look at the variable C in our workspace we will see it there and because it's a PID controller we can get a better idea about PID gains by typing PID of C. This shows us that this is a continuous time PID controller with derivative filter in parallel form. Here is the formula for this controller and here are the gain values. So to summarize this demo has provided an overview of several design methods um, in SISO design tool that you can choose from when you're doing control design with control system toolbox. This concludes the demo.